Hi, this is problem two from the 2017 AIM. When each of 702, 787, and 855 is divided by the positive integer m, the remainder is always the positive integer r. When each of 412, 722, and 815 is divided by the positive integer n, the remainder is always the positive integer s, not equal to r. Find the sum m through s. Okay, let's uh, rewrite this in the language of modular arithmetic. So we have that 702, 787, and 855 are all equal to r in mod m. Let's write that down. And 787 is also equal to r mod m. 855 equal to r mod m. And these other three, we have a similar statement that uh, 412 is equal to s in mod n, and 722 is also equal to s mod n, and 815 is equal to s in mod n. Okay, so we have a system of linear congruences, and the methods for solving these are pretty standard. Uh, in this case, we can take the differences to eliminate the variable r. So let's take uh, 787 minus 702, and we find out that uh, 85 is equal to 0 mod m, and 855 minus 787, we find that 68 is equal to 0 mod m. Now let's factor 85. 85, we can divide 5 into that. That's 5 times 17. 68, we can divide 4 into that, so that's 4 times 17. And for these two congruences to be true, the only way that can happen is for the modulus m to equal the common factor, in this case 17. So we know that m is equal to 17 in the uh, left case. So let's do the same thing for the right case. Let's take 722 minus 412. That tells us that 310 is equal to 0 mod n. The third minus the second, we have that 93 is equal to 0 mod n. Factoring the top, we have 31 times 10 is equal to 310. 93 is 31 times 3. Here again, for these two linear congruences to be true, the modulus has to equal this common factor, 31. So we know n is equal to 31 in the right case. Okay, so now we just have to calculate r and s. So I think we just have to do that the old-fashioned way. Let's divide 17 into 702 and find the remainder. 17 into 702 is 4, 68. 22, 1, 17, 5. So that's equal to r. Let's do the same thing over here. Let's divide 31 into 412. That's 1, 31, 3, 93, remainder of 9. And that's equal to s. Let's add them all up. Uh, 5 plus 17, that's 22. 31 plus 9, that's 40. 40 plus 22 is equal to 62. That's our final answer. Hope that helps. We'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.